I wish that I could introduce you to the people that when they were helping me, <laughs> were doing it because of Jesus. And they felt called by God and I could sense it maybe after the fact, even though it might have been when they were challenging me <laughs> to do better, that they were conscious of doing what they were doing in union with Jesus, that they had that as their purpose was to be faithful to him and to be doing the works of Jesus. <laughs> so I've had that experience in my life. I could introduce you maybe to my own mom, <laughs> uh, someone who was so faithful and is so joyful still, and yet had a very challenging life. <laughs> So her witness to me, and sometimes her challenges to me, became clearer that they were her doing what the gospel today is telling us about. <laughs> that we are given this, I don't know how else to describe it, maybe it's beyond words, a privilege of welcoming, being welcomed into acting with the very life of Jesus. And, and when we do those things, it's as if God, I'm trusting, is seeing Jesus do them. <laughs> that he's invited us to do these great things and has given us now an opportunity to cooperate with him in a way that has impact on those that we encounter. <laughs> That's a pretty major gift that God is welcoming us to and wants us, I trust, to see that and we hear the challenges that that sometimes brings. I could share some of those too, but St. Paul uh, in the first reading was saying that even though they were saying these things and following God's will, it was also kind of encountering some resistance. <laughs> and yet the reason that they kept doing it wasn't just because they liked to suffer or wanted to be in a difficult situation, but because they were, had, had to be true to what Jesus had invited them to, and I sense that that's not just something from the past. That's, that's an invitation, an honest invitation to each of us uh, to see that that's possible <laughs> through Jesus and the, the, the power of him now as he's returned to the Father, that he wants that to be our activity, our way of being in the world, and that takes a, a village here. We, we need each other. Uh, I couldn't have done it on my own. I couldn't have challenged myself the way that I was by someone who was acting because of this <laughs> relationship with Jesus and the Father. And maybe you can see some evidence of that in your own lives of the people that were convinced, convicted by the resurrected life of Jesus and acted in a way even though it might have made us furious or uncomfortable because they believed we were heading down the wrong path or uh, wanted to give us some guidance. So that's, it takes a lot of courage, but I think this gives us an opportunity today to, to really take uh, our identity to heart, that that's what being a follower of Jesus opens us to, that even though it sometimes feels, and maybe more often like a cross, uh, that the sacrifice that we have and give on behalf of another, because of our relationship with Jesus, gives us that strength to do what he asks us to do in his name. And it's then, we just aren't given freedom to do anything we want, but to learn how to ask and to talk to God in union with God's will for us. In one of the passages from St. Paul and some of the things that we've heard in uh, the, the readings, we also hear of people that sometimes when they're think they're asking for a fish <laughs> they're really asking they don't know this for a snake or when they think they're asking for a loaf of bread that they're really asking for a stone <laughs> so it's up to us to learn how to speak to God and, and the language that God is desiring us to to have that sometimes we, we think we're getting it right and we're not but that's the part of our learning and being filled now with the very life of Jesus so that we could grow in being 
uh, Christian people, <laughs> followers of Jesus, of the Anointed One. So let's see how this continues to help us. We ask God to strengthen us in doing God's will in a way that would then give us that confidence to ask for the things that we know we need in the name of Jesus, know that need to be happening in the name of Jesus, and ask him to help us allow that to become more and more real, more and more authentic uh, representation of, of God's will, both in our lives and in those that we encounter, that we could grow uh, to being like Jesus, uh, this self-gift.